everyone, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're actually gonna be making a recipe that I came up with, and I'm so excited to share this with you because it is so good. good. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these fun little dessert treats that you can have for any party, any occasion, any holiday goes with any season. If you guys love chocolate and you love like cream cheese, that type of stuff, trust me, you're gonna love this. So keep on watching in case you don't like those things. There's alternatives. You can always switch things in and out. So just keep that in mind. That's why I like sharing things like this. It's a little bit more versatile with how you like stuff and you can kind of put what you want in it. I'll kind of mention those little swap outs throughout the video. So just keep on watching and let's get into the video. Let's get into it. I'm screaming. Ah! The first thing you're going to want to pick up is these mini pie crusts. I got a pack of six for a couple dollars at Aldi. You could probably find these at Walmart. If not, just look at your local grocery stores to see if you can find them. I will try to see if I can find in what stores they stock these so you guys don't have to make a bunch of trips trying to find them. But you will want these little mini ones because we're trying to make single little pies. Okay, so let, I'm going to go ahead and actually just put these to the side and keep going through the ingredients. The next thing I picked up were these mini brownies. I'm just going to open this so I can show you how they come. They're individually wrapped. There's about five brownies or so in each pack. About five packs for like four dollars or something. Again at Aldi. This is what they look like. I'm just gonna open this because we're gonna use this. So they're just these little little brownies. Little muffin brownie type things. The next thing we'll need is either vanilla or chocolate pudding. And again, I picked up a pack of four of each kind for like 79 cents, give or take, at Aldi. So I thought that was a good deal. And you could get different kinds like for different options of how you're going to make this. Another ingredient you will need is some cream cheese frosting. I love this. It's so, so good. Very creamy. It just adds some flavor to this overall treat that we're making. Now, if you didn't want to use the brownies, you can always swap that out. Say you wanted to make it with like blueberry muffins, you could use that or strawberries or whatever you want. Or you could even put, get some candy and just put the candy in there. So we'll show you in just a second. Another thing that you'll want to pick up are these graham cracker crumbs. These are just cr crushed up graham crackers. So if you already have graham crackers at home, just grab a few and put them in a Ziploc bag and smash them up to make little crumb pieces. That's what we want. This is what it looks like. It's almost like a... Sawdust. Like a dust, like a powder. So let's get started with how we're going to make them. I have my cookie sheet already lined up and ready to go. So I can just pop these in the oven when we're all done making them. This is so simple. So literally what we're going to do is put these on the cookie sheet like this. So this makes six of them. And the fun part about these little things, you can actually, once you're all done using this, you can save these, just wash them up pretty good. And then you can make your own crust and just keep reusing them. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so I got those lined up. The next thing we're going to do is actually put in a little bit of pudding of your choice. I'm going to use this vanilla pudding. So we will need a couple spoons. Now I use a couple spoons just because I don't want to cross contaminate when I'm dipping into the cream cheese frosting or anything like that. So just take a little spoonful and Put that down in a dollop right there in the bottom. That's all you really need is just like a spoonful like that. So I'm actually going to, oh, that was way too much, way too much in that one. I don't know why I re, you only need a little bit because we're going to be adding more ingredients into these little pies. I don't know why I put so much in that one and you don't even really need to give it a stir or anything. The best part about this is you can just go ahead and lick the spoon because it's pudding, so. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and get, oh wait. Then you'll just take one of these little brownies and go ahead and just push them in to the pudding. Oh wow, I happen to have 
just enough brownies for all of those. It's perfect. I actually have one left that I'm going to eat. <laughs> That's the best part about it, you can just snack while you're making them. <laughs> I'm going to just use that same spoon for the cream cheese. Oh, wait. Sorry. I forgot I was on camera. I need to swap those out. Get a new spoon. Just take the cream cheese frosting. Make sure it's cream cheese frosting. And it's not cream cheese. You know that you put in the refrigerator. <laughs> and you just put this over the top of the brownie. Just like this. It does not need to be perfect. And again, you could swap out that brownie for like a Reese's cup or a blueberry muffin. Switch up the pudding. Do chocolate pudding. But you just want enough in there to make sure it's going to fill this up. And this is enough because once it melts down, it will fill fill the whole thing up. Like I said, this is in real time. This is literally so simple to make. This has taken me maybe like 10 minutes so far. Okay, that's probably, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. It's fine. I mean, we can just literally lick this because it's frosting. So good. Because we don't have to like fully cook these or anything like that, we just wanna basically, ah, my camera! So because we don't wanna like fully cook these or anything like that, we just want to get it, these in the oven basically to melt down that cream cheese and melt down that brownie a little bit and it will all just swirl together and it's so, so good. So I'm going to pop these in the oven around 375 at five minutes and then they will be ready to go. Oh, oh, dot, oh. oh, that smells so good. So this is kind of where we want them. As you can see, the cream cheese and the pudding kind of melted. And this brownie will kind of melt as well. They're not as full, but when you push down with a spoon, it will, you know, fill it up. You can always add more on top if you want. But I did want to take my little graham cracker pieces and just sprinkle those on top. And then I got these little black spoons. I got a whole set of these. I have a set of six of these little black spoons. I got these from Amazon. It was literally in a whole pack, like with a whole silverware set for like 27 bucks or something. Pretty good deal. And I love these little spoons. They're the perfect size for this little treat. As you can see, I just cut right into it. And the brownie just like melts. good it's still a bit too warm to eat you want this to cool down a little bit i would just leave them like this then when they're ready to eat it you just like push down into it and it's so good with the cream cheese and the pudding you guys have right, to let's try, try this together you guys i'm so excited see the crust just falls right apart love that you want some of the crust in there too mmm it was one of my favorites. It's so good, you want to eat another one. Yeah, it was just every single spoonful, we'll get some of that brownie, some of that pudding and cream cheese. Mmm. It's almost like a s'more in a pie. But it's a little bit sweeter because of that cream cheese frosting. It's so good. You guys have to try it. I'm glad my smoke alarm didn't go off this time. And then anything that you have left over, you could just put in the refrigerator. I just put the whole tray in there after it's cooled down. And that will, these will stay good for about three days in the refrigerator. But I'm sure you will eat them all up before then. So enjoy!